homicidal maniacs to play video games. Therefore, video games cause homicidal maniacs to kill people. Actually, that's false. Video games are constantly seen as a negative influence, but not all effects of video games are terrible. Video games can provide an escape from everyday life, a way for people with violent tendencies to deal with their problems, and video gamers can play a grand role in helping scientists solve long-term experiences. Video games can be escaped for people. GTA V does have morally reprehensible characters, but the vast majority of people play this game, play this sort of game, see the experience as one of virtual, temporary, and entirely popularity. We are given a vast canvas of possibility, and the freedom of can to break bad in this cartoonish, outlandish, and alternative reality. Most people can see this looking for this what it is, escapism. In video games, you can do a myriad of activities and activities without worrying about rules. Escapism in the virtual world is preferable to having people run about in the real run about without rules in the real world. Another reason why video games are not bad is that the more violent games can be managed as an outlet for people who have violent tendencies. If young men, those who are more likely to commit violent acts, are kept busy in front of their TVs and computers for hours on end, they will be too busy to walk into the streets and do violent things. Video games, especially the more violent ones, will be kept busy on the computers, stimulating rather than doing. Lastly, they can be used to aid scientists. Video gamers are not only play for fun, but they could also be partners in advising scientists solve and or discover new solutions to long-term problems. A new wave of games that lets players with little or no scientific knowledge tackle some of science's biggest problems. And gamers are already proving their work. In 2011, people were playing Fold, an online puzzle game about protein folding, to solve the structure of an enzyme that aids like disease in monkeys. Researchers had been working on the problem for 13 years. The game was resolved in three weeks. This is not the only case in which a scientist helps people, and in which gamers help scientists. A year later, people playing an astronomy game called Planet Hunter found a curious planet with four stars in the system. And to date, they've got to discover 40 planets that could potentially support life, all of which had been previously missed by professional astronomers. Amazingly, gamers help astronomers find 40 more inhabitable planets just by doing what they do best, playing video games. And some people say that violent video games create violent killers. However, this statement is ludicrous. If it were as simple as saying violent video games kill people, then we'd really be in trouble. It's a silly fallacy, of course. Homicidal man is kill people. Homicidal man play video games. Therefore, video games cause homicidal man to kill people. If this were true, then almost all of our population would be serious. And while video games are more aggressive than other people, in shooting the dark in New York Times, Benedict Carey over exaggerates the effect of video games. He utilizes words such as hostile urges, violent gaming, and clashes to give readers a feeling of negativity towards video games. However, he does not elaborate on the positive effects and is clearly biased against video games. In conclusion, I believe that video games do not negatively impact us. Though some may say that real world violence, say that they cause real world violence, video games can contribute to our world by helping scientists and preoccupying would be criminals. They also allow us to unleash our imagination freely without affecting the real world. Why not give video games a shot? The new experience might change your point of view.